Bada morning, pranda, afternoon, or even not with that if it's evening and you are joining us for our mystery mid along instructions and tips and tricks. So we are at the start of our mystery mid along and I just wanted to give you a few little bits to get you going and to make sure that you are hopefully staying on the right track and feeling confident about being part of our mystery mid along. So the first thing I wanted to mention to you was as you get started for the shawl Owen shawl, I want you to remember which side is the right side or the wrong side. So an easy way to do this and is to add a stitch marker. The stitch marker will really be useful in identifying which one is the right side or the front of your garment. And um, also it helps you keep on track when it comes to row countings for the first section. And this will help you track your rows and add your increases in the right place and follow along with the pattern. So add a stitch marker to the front. You might not be able to do that right away. It might take you a few rows to build up some of your initial knitting from your three stitch cast on, but then put in a stitch marker so that you can remember which one's the right side. And that will really help as you start to build up your knit stitches um, and do your increases and decreases. Okay, so I'm also just going to go over the increase and the decrease for this first section. So the increase is a knit front back, KFB, you will see it in the knitting instructions. And it's quite simple. If you know how to knit, you should be able to do the knit front back. And the other stitch that you're mainly using in this um, section is just a knit stitch to just develop your initial triangle for your shawl. So the first stitch of the row is always a knit to get you on track. And then once you've done your knit, you're doing a knit front back. So with the knit front back, you go first in the front of the stitch like you normally would for a knit stitch. You go around, you do not drop that stitch, but rather you put your needle behind and you go through the back of that stitch to then create two stitches at which point you drop it okay so I'll just do it one more time uh, you go through the front and create a stitch without dropping and then you put your needle your right hand needle to the back go through the back of the same stitch to create your increase okay so that is a knit front back and once you've done that once i've done it twice you only do it once um, you carry on knitting down the row in order to create your increase okay so i've knit along and i'm now at the other end of my row and i am at the point where i need to decrease this only happens every third row in the pattern that you're doing for this section and um, it is a knit two together so k2 tog is what it looks like in your pattern and it's also quite a simple decrease rather than taking this first stitch to knit you are coming across to the second stitch of the three that you've left on the end and you are picking up both of those stitches at once knit wise so take from the second stitch in Come across under both of those loops and knit the two together just like that and you'll be able to recognize that by the two little loops being on the same stitch okay so if I just undo that do it one more time for you yes you've got three stitches on your needle and you are coming to the second stitch going through two stitches knit wise bringing your yarn over and through like a normal knit stitch, knit two together. And then finally knit one before you turn to go the other way. If you can do these two simple stitches, as well as a regular knit, you are going to fly through this section of the pattern and you will start to accumulate a nice triangular section for your shawl and you will be on to section two in no time. See you then. Bye. Ta-da.